Let's talk about China's launches of super advanced rockets and space satellites. Hi everyone, how's it going? This is Richard Aguilar and of course, this is Arthur and welcome back again to our channel. Now, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell icon so that you will always be updated with our new videos. So without further delay, brace yourself to see some of the best and most advanced rockets and space satellite launches done by China. So for us to get started, here we go with our video. Number 1 is 3rd Long March 5 Carrier Rocket Chinese space authorities say a 3rd Long March 5 Carrier Rocket has been transferred to its launching pad ahead of a test few days ago. The rocket arrived at the Wenchang Satellite Launch Center in southern China's Hainan province for various tests. The first Long March 5 was launched in 2016, but the intended second launch in 2017 failed. Engineers and scientists hope that the next launch will be a success. Number 2 is China developed new generation reusable manned spacecraft. Most equipment of China's new generation spaceships can be reusable as China has adopted a two compartment design of service module and return module while most valuable products are put in the return module. In the past, China's Shenzhou manned spacecraft adopted a three-compartment design, a return module, a propulsion module, and an orbital module. Both the propulsion module and the orbital module will fall into the atmosphere and burn down during their return to Earth. Only the return module will land on the ground. Number 3 is China launched first submitter class satellite into space. China's first submitter high-resolution optical transmission stereo mapping satellite Gaofen 7 was successfully launched at the Taiyuan Satellite Launch Center in the northern province of Shaanxi. Compared with ordinary optical remote sensing satellites, Galfin 7 can draw three-dimensional images, meaning that all the buildings in the world will be a series of three-dimensional models once it is put into use.
Number four is twin satellites launched to develop China's Beidou system. China successfully sent twin satellites into space on a single carrier rocket, marking the third launch of the self-developed Beidou 3 navigation satellite system. The pair blasted off on a long March 3B carrier rocket, BGT from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center in southwest China's Sichuan province and entered the precinct orbit about three hours later. Number 5 is China launched first private 5G low orbit broadband satellite. China successfully launched its first private 5G low orbit broadband satellite using a Kuaijo 1A carrier rocket, a solid fuel carrier rocket with an international general interface developed by China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation for the commercial space launch market. Number 6 is China completed core network of GPS rival Beidou with latest satellite launch. China sent two new satellites into space, bringing the country another step closer to the full deployment of the Beidou navigation system its rival to the US-owned GPS. Beijing started in 1994 to develop Beidou, the Chinese name for the seven stars that make up the Big Dipper, to cut the People's Liberation Army's reliance on the American-built GPS. Number 7 is China's Long March 5 rocket on move to Wenchang Satellite Launch Center. Long March 5 is China's largest carrier rocket ever built. The diameter of its main fuselage measures 5 meters across. The carrier rocket has a nickname of Icy Rocket in that it uses liquefied kerosene and very low temperature of cryogenic liquefied oxygen and hydrogen as its fuels. This propellant mixture is non-toxic and pollution-free.
So that's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have something to say about this video, please leave some comment below. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. And this is Arthur. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching and see you on the next video. video.